hello everyone in this video we are going to learn how to get hyperlinks so you can see if we hover over on this particular method then it says this particular url right so we want to get this url using power query and we are going to learn how to do that okay so let's get it started so at first i'll just get this link from where i'll just get this particular hyperlink so just go into this data tab from oab so that is i think this one yeah so just paste the url connect doesn't matter actually and in the meantime let's do inspect use this selector button and then select this particular method and you can see a href right so we want to get this part this particular href part so if i just do like copy and then where is that selector then you'll see if i just use ctrl f then you can see this is that particular selector of that particular item right and i want to get this href okay so this href represent excel script worksheet and so on right so if i just copy that let's see let me just edit as a attributes oh actually it's it's not like you know it's like this documents that part it's like that okay you can say activate right so let's say we want to get that particular hyperlink or href that's it so how can i do that just copy this selector and then just go into this i'll just choose this html table because i don't want to extract anything from this section so i'll just use this html code click on the transform button and in this section i'll just say html dot table and then i'm going to specify the html content that is this content and then it says column selector so it's a list of list you first you need to specify the column name so section url that's what this name for that one and now i'll just say okay i want to get what's that this part okay and let's see you can see it's written me this activate basically that this text instead of this href so if you just need the text you are done but if you need the href or url then it, what you need to do you just need to add another part of this column selector that each attribute and then just specify this href and now you will have that hyperlink you can see excel script or set activate member one so if i just copy this and then put it here and then copy this part and then put at the end then it should take me to the activate method as you can see this one so that's how we can extract a specific href from a link using power query that's it for this video if you have any question feel free to comment have a good day